Hello and welcome to Studio 1X2, football zone away from home. Here is where we draw the game's beautiful picture for you. I'm your host Tom Buana and we have a special guest in studio today. A name that's been sung in stadiums in Kenya, Europe and beyond. His favorite position is what football fans currently refer to as the Dieres, a central midfielder that can double up as a central defender. James Ituma! Welcome to the show, a man who has played for everyone, Madare, Tasca, FC Leopards. Who have you not played for? <laughs> I have prayed for everyone Excel, around ex the country. Okay, for only, for for only two. <laughs> Boniface Ambani, as always, is here, our resident analyst. Still excited about the Euros? Oh, definitely. Brilliant. I just wanna be free. Today's show focuses on two Euro 2020 groups, Group C and Group D. The Netherlands have made their much-awaited return to the fray, albeit without their defensive rock, their shield, Virgil van Dijk. They're in Group C with Austria, North Macedonia, and... The Ukrainians. In Group D, we have World Cup finalists Croatia. You remember them from World Cup in Russia? Czech Republic, England, and Scotland. It's not easy to call how these two groups will pan out. England's young and exciting squad versus Croatia's aging but experienced side. Newcomers, North Macedonia's chances. James Tuma, run us through this group. Uh, group C is a challenging group, and uh, as we, you can see, you, 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 you feel maybe Netherlands are the, the favourites in that group, yeah. but uh, again, you can't take away the cre uh, credit from the, from the Ukraine. He is making Ukraine sound like Brazil <laughs> of 2002. Anyway, each and uh, every coach or each and every person he usually has his ways yeah. of how he looks into, into teams. Yeah. Maybe well, how would you call this group? Austria, Netherlands, North Macedonia and Ukraine? Ah, Netherlands. To me, I'll uh, come out with the Netherlands. Of late, I've seen how they've been uh, playing the soccer. Mm. Quite enterprising. Talking of where soccer is played, Group D, Croatia, Czech Republic, England and Scotland. Anyone will give it uh, the three Lions. You remember the last World Cup, they always said it's coming home, but yeah. we don't know. <laughs> yeah. We are waiting to Never see if he, uh, Exactly. We are waiting to see if Euro will come home. But yeah. again, you can't rule out the Croatians because they, they have uh, also been a very fantastic team. I remember they were, last, uh, they, they were second runners-up in the last World Cup, so you can't rule them out. For Southgate, I believe uh, he has the, the score to pick from. He has quality in that team. But again, they never show up in, in big tournaments. First runners up, actually. It's interesting that every tournament before it starts, England yeah. is always seen as <laughs> the pinnacle of football. Uh, yet they've never gone anywhere past the quarters, except for the last uh, World Cup in Russia. Now this is the time. It's the time to stand out. It's their time. Yeah, they I didn't stand really. up when they had Gerard Scholz and Lampard <laughs> yeah. in the midfield. Yeah. This time round, I'm giving it to them. And you're leaving yeah, out yeah. World Cup finalists, Croatia, with the Luka uh, Modric of this world. But you, you look at their team, it's quite aging. Yeah. So to me, I'm giving it to England. Very energetic players. Harry Kane has to. Age comes with experience. Yes, age, comes age comes with experience. Comes experience Talks about something. retired footballers. <laughs> Netherlands is back and I don't see them packing their bags soon. I have them. England, Croatia, and of course Austria in the knockout stages. A dark horse will definitely disappoint a big name in the latter stages. Welcome to the show, Super Jack. Thank you so much. Very good. Yeah. The Euros are beginning. Are you excited about Euros? Very, very excited. I'm over the moon. As a football fan, which team, which names do you think will uh, be sung all over Europe during the Euro 2020? Karim Benzema is at the top of that list. As fate would have it, yes. he's had a magnificent season with his club, Real Madrid. Many seasons. Many seasons. Yes. And he was, they can't ignore him anymore. Yes. Everyone is talking about the group of death. Yes. The group that has all the big names. Uh, France. Yes. Hungary. Yes. Portugal. Yes. And the German machine. Correct. How, what's your analysis of that group? That group I'm seeing... Uh, France and Germany yes. getting out of that group for the simple reason. By getting out means qualifying. Qualifying, yes. exactly. Yes. They'll qualify. Uh, that means Portugal and Hungary will go home early. The defending champions of Europe? Of course. Germany, they know how to win tournaments. Yes. They've proved it. Yes. They have World Cups below their belt. Not just one, not yes. two, not three. Yes. Talk to me about France. France. Yes. France, I think, will also go far. Because uh, they have a very strong team, it's a young team, very fast attack, yeah. solid compact midfield, and uh, rock solid defense. Super Jack. Yeah. 
We only see the colorful nature of your outlook. Yes. We've never seen your in-look. Today, yes. we've seen it. Thank you so much for coming to Studio One X2. I just wanna be free. My name is Balo and you're here in the streets of Nairobi. You want to find out what people are expecting from the upcoming Euro 2020. Let's go. Euro 2020 niko team Germany. Germany ikitoka na enda Portugal. Portugal ikitoka niko France. Toka hapo hizo zingine sijui. Euro 2020 na support Portugal na France. France watashinda sababu wako na ma player wanaweza jua kucheza mpira kwa raw safi. Bono Kante ameshine sana this season. Hii msimu ni yake. France madeni tisho sa hizi France. Hata Portugal bado inaweza retain bado yo cup bado. That's all we had for you today. Thank you so much. Back to you in studio, Tom. And it's that time of the show. Bonnie's best bet. We have an exclusive Euro jackpot. The Super Euro jackpot. The easiest jackpot coupon in Kenya where Panthers stand a chance of winning 25 million shillings for 25 bob only. 15 Euro games. Great odds. But you already know that because we have the easiest jackpot coupon in Kenya. And we got our guests to make their predictions. Let's see if they all had the same predictions or went separate ways. Let's see uh, on this coupon new, Turkey versus Italy, you all went for Italy. Wales versus Switzerland, you all went Wales way. Denmark versus Finland, you all predicted uh, our Danish win. Belgium versus Russia, you all went with Romelu Lukaku's team. England versus Croatia, you all think it's coming home. Austria versus Macedonia, Austria winning. Netherlands, Ukraine, that's where we have some uh, Kizungumkuti here. So Situma, you still stuck to Ukraine winning. Bonnie, you say Netherlands win. Let's go Ukrainian way first. Why do you think Ukraine is going to win this? Yeah, I, 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 I think I just follow their progression uh, from the group stages and the way they have been building up the, the team from the previous years, previous seasons. And Shevchenko has really done so uh, quite a fantastic job at, uh, at Ukraine. So for Netherlands, I think they are rebuilding. They don't have their key players at the back, uh, Van Dijk. So they really depend on Delete. And I remember he hasn't had a fantastic season at Juventus because it's, he is on and off and he's, the team is still rebuilding. Remember their... Uh, also in the midfield, they have, they'll have to rely on De Jong in the midfield. He's a young player, upcoming player. So, so the key word here is rebuilding. Others have rebuilt, course. others are still rebuilding. Sure, sure. What's your Dutch reason? My Dutch reason, uh, I've been looking at it for the past five years. Huh? Yeah. Uh, to me, the rebuilding is already over. There's still not rebuilding. Now the ready to uh, yeah, ready do the work. To, yeah, they're ready to do the work. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, now, after that, you went to uh, Scotland versus Czech Republic. You went the Scottish way. You, uh, Situma, you went the Scottish way. You went the Czech Republic's way. Why Czech Republic against Scotland? Uh, definitely Scotland. Uh, I don't think they have any chance against, against Czech, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a team to beat Czech Republic. Team to beat. What's yeah. the Scottish reason? The quality they have in the team, yeah. the players they have. Remember, Robertson at Liverpool has been so fantastic. Thierry, uh, Kieran tyranny in the, at, at Arsenal has been so fantastic also. In the midfield, you have Manchester United, Scott McTominay. So he's a good player that you see. He has the quality of a leader in that team. So for me, if I compare the two squads, I feel the quality in the Scot in Scotland team is much better than the... Strangely, team. those are players who have not won any trophy at their clubs <laughs> this season. <laughs> they have been so fantastic. <laughs> let's go, let's proceed. So uh, Spain versus, uh, versus Sweden, you all went uh, Spanish way. Pol uh, Poland versus Slovakia, it's all Polish for you guys. Uh, Portugal versus Hungary, it's all Portuguese. Then the big game, France versus Germany. You, uh, Situma, you predicted a French victory versus Germany. You went for a draw. What's your French reason? I think the, 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 the World Cup finalists have been so fantastic. They have quality in that team. I remember they are, previous, they are champions. Yeah. I still believe Germany has a long way to go because yeah. since the era of Philipp Lahm and we have the Swastiger in the midfield, yeah. they have new players. They have, at the moment, they are, they are depending on uh, Nabri in the, in the midfield. So those are young players that need some time to, to rebuild. He thinks uh, the French can easily beat Germany, but you you see a draw in the game. No, Why I are you see balancing a game. It? I'm balanced. It's a balanced game. You look at uh, France; it is a good team. You look at Germany as a good team. So it's a balanced side. So to yeah. me, I'll go for a draw in that match. You've all gone for Russia to beat Finland. Turkey versus Wales. Here is where you are stuck with the Turks, and you go the Welsh side. Why Turkey beating Wales? Yeah, football is a game of chances. Yeah, yeah, that's why I, just, I don't know. 
Why? And who said talk, the tax are the only ones who have chances? <laughs> no, they have. They have a big chance against Wells. Yeah. You don't yeah. feel that Gareth Bale, having gone to Tottenham Hotspur, has given, has rekindled his hunger to play for uh, better football? He is a good player, but he's the, the only uh, good player that he. He thinks Gareth Bale is the only <laughs> good player in team. I think as a group, you feel maybe Taki has a chance. But again, you know, uh, Gareth Bale has always done wonders whenever he plays for the national team. He has been over light as an individual and he has always delivered to, for, the, for the team. So I went for Wales. For Italy versus Switzerland, you all think it's gone the Italian way. That's what they're thinking about. And you know, we can't wrap up the show without me asking one question. Which team do you think will lift the trophy? And for you, the player, we have a free bet toward you when you place a bet worth 300 shillings or more on the outright market. And on that note, who is winning this tournament? James Situma. Make a bold prediction on who is winning the tournament. It will be a surprise. I went for Ukraine. Ukraine to win the tournament. Sure. We're talking about Euro 2020. Exactly. They have the Why hunger. Ukraine? They have the hunger. They want, they have the, you, you know, they were in, during the qualification, they were in a group where, where they had uh, the caliber of Portugal. And remember, they had four points against Portugal. So that's, it shows you the quality they have in that team and the way they want to achieve. James Ituma says Ukraine will win the tournament. Ambani, we still stuck to... Spain. Spain winning the tournament for you. Definitely. No chance of any other team I upsetting not Spain. I any chance. There you go. We're all about the game here at Studio 1X2. That's all we had the time for today with Mr. James Sitoma here. Thank you so much, Jemo, for coming to the store. And Boniface Ambani, Babayao, Asante Sana for coming here. I'm your host, Tom Buana. Until next time, Ekelea 1X2. I just want to be free.